A Utah family left with nothing after a devastating house fire. Tonight on KSL 5 News at 6, hear exclusively from the victims and their plans for picking up the pieces to rebuild their lives. Plus a challenge. I get everyone out. I went for my son first, woke up my dad, uh, was screaming outside to get anyone inside to help me to put out the fire. A devastating loss when Utah family loses everything in a fire that destroys their home. The victims sit down exclusively with KSL, talking about what was lost and the path ahead to pick up the pieces. Two wildfires ignite in Utah in less than 24 hours. We have team coverage tonight on how crews quickly responded to knock them out and the work being done right now to prevent a serious wildfire season. Plus, a call for help as we enter the summer months. The organization working to support Utah kids in foster care and how your family can help out. KSL News at 6 starts now. Good evening. Our top story tonight, a Utah family left with nothing after a devastating house fire. A mother and her young children are in desperate need of help. News special Shelby Lofton spoke exclusively with a victim and has her story. It was a quiet Monday night here at these duplexes on 9080 West in Magna. A single mom living here went to cook some food and minutes later she saw her house filled with smoke. I had put a pan on the stove to cook. Mom of two, Karina Yuha, says she whipped up some food for herself around 11 p.m. I went to heat it up and went back to the bedroom to get some socks. I was getting ready for bed and I was standing at my window and I heard screaming. Within minutes, she says her kitchen was engulfed in flames. I get everyone out. I went for my son first, woke up my dad. She grabbed her four-year-old son and her cell phone and ran outside. Her 11-month-old daughter, Sophia, was at a family member's house. I saw like a like flash glow. It was just bright right when she came out. Two of her neighbors grabbed their fire extinguishers. By the time the fire trucks got here, it was mostly black smoke. And not much left. It was like, wow, all of my belongings, all my kids' belongings, gone. I can't save any of it. Bicycles, baby clothes covered in ash bedding that smells like smoke. This is where I basically raised my little one. Uh, I was pregnant here with her. She grew up in this house. She has health issues, so it's been it's been a roller coaster for sure. Yuha's and her neighbors dig through her soot covered belongings while she tries to keep her children comforted. He goes, Mommy, where are we? Um, and I explained to him, we can't go home, son. Like, that's not home anymore. She's grateful for her friends who ran toward the flames. I will forever miss them. <laughs> They'll no longer be neighbors, but they're bonded by what happened. Things can be replaced, but souls can't be. Yuhaz is working on finding new housing for her and her children. Right now, they're being sheltered with the help of the Red Cross. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. We hope she gets the help she needs. Shelby, thank you. Tonight, we're tracking two wildfires.